know what Davis is really all about. It kind of like builds it up to be all party life, but it's really like more yeah, I mean, like today. Uh, yeah, I think there's a little bit too much drama, and I think people just kind of yeah, way too much acting. Hey, great, thank you. So, I think I question whether or not MTV put them up to a lot of it. But the rest of it, you know, I was I was in the majority set here, so I don't want to see that. Much, I don't think it's very realistic. I think that uh, it, it appeared to me like maybe MTV made um, a lot of the choices there. Like I heard that they bought the house, you know, which wouldn't have been done otherwise. It seemed like they kind of picked like girls that um, that would do well on MTV. Mm. <laughs> Thank you. Um, I think it's fascinating um, to watch it, but <laughs> I think that they make Davis look a lot cooler and more fun than it actually is because they only show like the cantina and that over in all these different um, like camera angles, so it looks like it's all these different places, but it's really not. And I think that um, I think it's pretty sad, like the. Uh, what they've done to the sorority. So that's about it. That uh, these are UC students who are supposed to represent the top 5% of high school graduates and that they would still be foolish enough or ignorant enough to think that they could rush a Jewish sorority without first uh, finding out the fundamentals of Judaism and its principles. Um, also, in regards to the sorority uh, complaining about that they don't want to seem or come off as exclusive, they need to realize that the definition of a sorority or fraternity is that it does have exclusive, exclu exclusiveness uh, and that they, cons or that they all often talk of and mention their sorority sisters as a sisterhood, uh, but they don't mention women in general or the public in general as their sisters and brothers. And that, I think, would be more uh, uh, appropriate uh, of genuine sisterhood and brotherhood. Um, I think it's a pretty good documentary. I think MTV kind of over-glamorizes Davis as a college town, and I think that uh, they did a good job in stirring up a lot of controversy, I guess, in terms of, like, are these girls doing it just because they want to be in the sorority, or do they want to do it just to be on MTV? So I think they, they're trying to make it a show out of it, but I don't know how, how well it's going to be. Well, well, like, I'm in a fraternity, too, so like, I'm part of the same Greek system. Like, I don't know, it's like... I don't know, like, I think like, MTV is just using that like, just uh, to feed into like, people, like, a lot of people they want to know like, what a sorority is about. Yeah, I think it's kind of in a good way because like, there's a lot of negative stereotypes about like, sororities in general. So that kind of gives people a different perspective. Sorority life. Alright, thanks a lot. Basically, it's a pretty good show. It's representing Dave, it's pretty good. But uh, I think Hollywood's kind of laughing. I think they kind of made, made a spoof on us. And I, I just think they're all joking around and just having a good time. Letting the whole world see Davis is kind of a joke. That's about it. Um, I think it's a great show. It provides a lot of drama that people can't find in their own lives. And I just want to let everybody know that I've been in love with Dee Dee since I went to middle school with her back in sixth grade. So Dee Dee, if you're, if you're listening, that's for you. Um, I think that it pretty much falls in line with uh, all the other reality TV shows that they've done and also other TV stations do just because they're sort of fabricated. I mean, as far as I know, uh, people were picked and people went to, you know, go and join the Jewish sorority. They're not Jewish and they knew that they were going to be on MTV, so I don't know. I think it sort of goes along with uh, the norm as far as reality TV shows go. It's nothing new. Oh, all right. Here in David? Um, I think it's good they're doing it because I wasn't exactly sure what it was. And so now that I've seen it and like see what kind of life we have in there, I'm thinking about joining one when I get into college. So I think it's good they're doing it. All right, thank you. Mm -hmm. I've been watching it like my roommate Julia, she was actually one of the rushies on the show. So like I knew like some of the stories that were like like the real stuff that happened. So like the editing stuff, like they're kind of twisting around and like showing all the like only the really pretty popular girls so that is kind of lame but i think it's giving davis it's giving them a pretty good name because it's showing that um like it's a good sorority and it's like a good like city to be in and stuff and they're showing i don't think they're being um like bad to davis they're being pretty true to it and stuff i think it's, i've watched a couple times like i think like instead of just focusing on one sorority they should do like 
a like, couple different sororities and show oh, this one and then this one, like all the different drama, different ones of them. I think they should show like all the different ones they have here at UC Davis. Um, I think it, the way they pr they show it is that it's just a whole bunch of fun and breaking the rules, but it's, it's an interesting show to watch the life of these girls. Um, to me, some of them seem like they just want to be on television, but <laughs> it's pretty good, but I don't know if it, it kind of makes me want to be in a sorority, so. so. Alrighty, thank you. Um, I think it's really realistic and a cool show to watch. People should watch it. I think it's a it's a good reality show. Some of the people on the show were a little, I don't know, mean. I guess I'll say it's kind of off. So yeah, you get to hate some of the people on the show, which is good. A lot of TV shows you don't get that. So it was good. I liked it. Oh, the oh, what's her name? I like Jordan because she sticks up for herself and she doesn't believe in stupid rules. Yeah, I think I think the rules are really really stupid. First of all, because I don't have to be home at 11 o'clock and I'm a sophomore in high school. Well, I'm going to be a junior. Anyways, and Jordan's really cool because she sticks up for herself, and that's what she said, and so that's really cool. And I, I like that. that. Self-confidence all the way, baby. I think that the girls who are all, like, talking schmack about Jordan are just jealous because she's really pretty. Um, I've just seen the show a few times, and I thought it was good, but I don't think I could be myself in front of a camera. I mean, just all day, all the time. So I think it gives a good idea of what's going to go on, how, what they want you to be like in a sorority, but not everything. But it's a fun show to watch. <laughs> yeah, it's definitely an entertaining show. And, well, I was watching it with my sister, and she was part of a sorority. And then, so she knows the inside. So she's all saying how it's really good coverage and publicity for the sorority. And it is. And it's very entertaining to watch. Yeah. Um, I really do like sorority life, and I really feel bad for Jordan because I treat her wrong and she shouldn't be treated like that just because the way she looks and people are always judging her on just looks basically and they shouldn't be like that they should treat her better and then also my sister is also in a sorority and I want to be in a sorority when I get older too and then it also shows a good like coverage of the sorority so you basically can kind of figure out what it's like and what you have to go through to get into one and I do like the show and I watch it all the time and it's a good show to me.